Hello everybody! So today I'm going to be doing a review on two art copies that I had received in July. Um, one is Sadie by Courtney Summers and the other one is Campfire by Sean Sarles. I'm going to start with Sadie by Courtney Summers. This book had me hooked from the beginning. It was a little bit different than things that I've read in the past. It's, it's almost like it's a podcast and it's a guy who's trying to investigate like what happened to this girl Sadie and he knows her family history he knows everything about her but he wants to know where she went like what happened to her and something devastating had happened to her little sister which caused Sadie to disappear Sadie basically she goes on um, a road trip across the country to find out what happened to her sister and and other people that were involved possibly with this man that did this to her, her sister. She suspects did this to her sister. And it kind of takes place in two time periods, but like one from like a little bit in the past and a little bit into the future. It doesn't really meet at the exact same time, the stories, from the podcast to Sadie's story, but it all connects. This book took me on a wild ride. I think it would definitely be better read as an audiobook because of the podcast aspect. Because if you go through it, the podcast is called The Girls, and it's written in podcast form. So, you know, to tell you who's speaking and who they're interviewing. I definitely would suggest if you want to read this, get the audiobook, because it definitely is better than reading the physical copy. For a YA thriller, this book was intense. Like, I really enjoyed it. I When I went to book con, they were advertising this book everywhere. Every time I walked past Wednesday's books booth, like it was all about Sadie. And I was like, my dog's name is Sadie. I want to read a book about Sadie. Not knowing that this book is as dark as it is. I enjoyed it to the fullest because I have a sister and the lengths that this girl goes for her sister to find out what happened to her and get revenge for what happened to her sister it, and for other girls too is amazing. It's pretty dark. Sadie goes through a lot. Sadie goes through a lot of pain. There is some violent content in here that has to do with rape, that has to do with abuse. I mean there's a part in here where a man hits her and like makes her bleed, her nose break and bleed. So it's it's pretty intense for YA, but the story needed to be told, and I really enjoyed it. I felt like I was watching a like a crime TV show on on the ID channel or something, but it was excellent. So I gave this book a five out of five stars. I finished it so quickly. I am so happy that I got a chance to read Sadie, and I hope you all do too. It was such an excellent read. This book just did it for me. I really enjoyed it. I believe it's coming out September 4th. Yes, it's coming out September 4th, 2018. So if you're interested in reading a high stakes thriller about a young girl on the search for her sister's killer, basically, definitely check this out. And what happened to Sadie? That's what I want to know. What happened to Sadie? And next is Campfire by Sean Sarles. I really anticipated this book. I heard that it was going to be like the perfect like summer spooky read and I was really let down by it. I don't really have much to say. It was very young and I know it's a it's a YA book but I felt like it read even younger than that. The writing was just immature and it could have been better. I guessed the ending immediately. I knew the ending immediately. But there were definitely some spooky, like, dark parts into it, and the story, like, line was great, but the plot just kind of sunk. It's about a girl named Maddie. Her mother dies in a horrific way, and her and her family, like, aunts, uncles, and, like, family friends, they go on a camping trip just to get away for the summer and just kind of enjoy their time together as a family. And a lot of crazy family drama happens, but... They go to this campsite and there is this guy there who's kind of like taking them on the tour and almost like their tour guide of the camp. So he's there with them the entire time. And every night before they go to bed, they tell campfire stories around the fire. 
Come to find out, every story that they tell starts to come true while they're at the campsite. So when I heard that, <laughs> I was like, I need to read that book. It sounds so good. And it does, it sounds so good, but as you're reading it, and once I got like to the halfway point, I was like, all right, enough. <laughs> it's, it could have been done so much better, but I give props for Son Sorrels for his writing. This is his first book that was published. So I definitely give him props for this. I give it a 3.5 stars out of five, but I definitely think it could have been better. I don't want to give too much away if you are interested in reading this book. And I believe it came out already. It came out in July. I don't know if it was like the last week in July. It was enjoyable. It's a quick summer read. I finished it very quickly. It's just, you know, you can guess the ending. I really enjoyed the writing and I felt like it was just immature. I think that's the best way to say it. I, For other people, it might be like the book for you. But for me, I was just, I've read like better horror books than this. And people were relating it to like R.L. Stein's writing. And I felt like R.L. Stein probably would write something like this, but it would be done so much better. And definitely a lot more spookier. Overall, it was a fun read. I got through it. It wasn't terrible. It was just not exactly what I was looking for, not what I thought it was going to be, but I enjoyed it. If you want to check it out, check it out. It's definitely a campy type book. So both books were great summer reads. I enjoyed them for the most part. Sadie was excellent. I highly recommend that book. So when September 4th comes along, make sure you go put it on your calendar or something. Go pick it up. It was excellent. The hype is real for that book. I absolutely loved it. It's definitely, you know, there's definitely hard hitting subjects in there. So if you are sensitive to any of that, like any triggers of violence or rape, I wouldn't suggest picking it up, but it's definitely a story that needed to be told. And it is something that does happen in America these days. If you like this video, if you want to see some quick mashup reviews from me, like and subscribe down below, leave your comments down below, and I will be talking to you guys soon. Bye!